So in the last video, I put together this live scope transducer mount, and I really wasn't happy with the tape on there. My buddy John told me I probably shouldn't use duct tape because it gets all sticky. Thank you, John, for the tips. He also told me about these uh, inserts. Get some nylon inserts. I went to my hardware store and couldn't find anything like that, but I did find these brass inserts. I already got the top one in, but I, I had to grind down the sides just a little bit to be able to get them in. Already got the top one in. I need to hammer in the bottom one. It kind of fits, but I'll hammer in the rest of it. I hammered in this one and it is a tight fit. That cannot spin or anything. But check out how good this fit is with the aluminum pipe. Like that is freaking perfect. It's only tight right now because this is in sideways a little bit. So it's angled. So it's holding it in place. Let me take this out and actually show you all the real fit. So there's the real fit. I mean, that fit is almost perfect. Could not get any better. That is a new way I'm going to be having this tight inside this pipe, no more tape. But let's go ahead and hammer this in real quick. And I just went to the hardware store and found this. I didn't have a piece of this metal. I didn't have a sample of this metal to go off of. I was just guessing. And for it to come off that perfect is amazing. Again, I did have to grind off this insert here to get it in, but freaking tight, it's perfect, and I'm happy with it. Way, way better than the duct tape. Now we'll have a tight fit around this transducer pole. That will slide in here. Oh, dude, freaking beautiful. All right, so there is how it looks now. Looks a whole lot better. Also put some slack into this so we can actually spin it. I mean, I was able to spin it one click down or up that it needed. It only needs to go one click to change into, uh, I think it's upward. I'm not sure what it is. I'll have to learn this whole transistor thing, but uh, I did put more slack in it just in case. I also got the tape going all the way down to the bottom. So, looks all black, looking good. And then I also ordered a stainless steel clamp here that will hold that in place instead of the electrical tape. So, completely upgraded. I guess I was just in a rush last night to get that video out, so I used tape. But today we got all the right stuff for it. The uh, clamp will be here on Tuesday. So we have a few days to wait for that, but figured I'd show y'all the updated little inserts here. A few people brought to my attention that having stuff hanging over your boat is bad when you have this type of guides here, which I agree. Whenever I had the last boat build, I'd have my fishing poles down in the floor sticking up. Every time I pull in, they would get caught on this and it's the most stressful thing. You're trying to guide your boat onto a trailer. You're trying to save your fishing pole from snapping. It's horrible. So I'm actually going to be taking these off. And I'm going to be replacing those with the short bunk guides. So, we got some new guides. My only worry with these is it is 21 inches above the frame. And this boat is 20 inches above the frame. So, I know there's a second hole that may be able to drop it down and it might be good, but we'll have to open it up and see. But, yep, we're replacing the old guides. Guys, I do want to redo the trailer as well. I want to paint it. And I would like to actually extend these bunkers up here. So these bunkers will extend all the way up, connect to this, and then go back over that direction, and then back over to that bunk over there, just to make a large rectangle, just so more of the boat is supported. Before I can put on the new guides, I gotta take the old guides off. You know what? These are the same exact brackets, same exact U-bolts. I don't have to take all this off. I just gotta loosen it up, slide this out, and slide in the new arms. Freaking sweet. Out with the old, in with the new. All right, so here is the new arm. 
I was a little worried that these would stick out too far, but we can actually shove these all the way in as much as we want, if we want to, so that is sweet. It may actually not be high. Good deal. That might be freaking perfect. So let's go ahead and get the bunk attached. That's money, dude. Alright, so I got the arm mounted in place, that's not going to move. So now I can kind of play with this and adjust it to make it straight with the boot. Alright, so there it is all done. We got one side done, let's go ahead and switch sides on the boat and get the other side done. Alright, so there is the second guide attached. They are pretty close. I probably need to back those off just a hair because that's not two inches. That's that's probably one inch there. But now we shouldn't have to worry about anything catching onto the guides. Hopefully. I will take it very slowly first few times I unload and load the boat. And usually when I'm sitting in the back driving the boat, the front is up a little bit. But this time around, I have two batteries up here, so that's 26 extra pounds than I had the last time, so this boat is going to be completely different. I can't base this boat off the last build because it is completely different, so we'll have to figure out this boat, learn everything about it, get comfortable with it, all that good stuff, but there it is. And guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.